Next up at BTC 13 is a featherweight bout between Tisha Guthrow and Christian Bouchard. Tisha Guthrow comes into BTC 13 with the record of 3 and 1 and feels like the most complete mixed martial artist he has ever been after having a pit stop in the LFA back in 2020. Tisha Guthrow looks to bring tons of pressure and looks to showcase his improved wrestling and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu into this fight. Born and raised in St. Catharines, Ontario, Tisha Guthrow looks to put on his best performance in front of his hometown fans. Christian Bouchard comes into this fight on short notice and makes the trek out to St. Catharines, Ontario from the province of Manitoba. Bouchard is 2-0 as a mixed martial artist, but knows that Tiche is his toughest opponent to date and plans on pushing the pace and finding a way to get the biggest win of his career and spoil the homecoming for Tiche Guthrow. This belt promises to be full-on excitement as Tiche Guthrow takes on Christian Bouchard in a featherweight bout. Tiche is definitely a fan favorite and we're moments away from getting this featherweight bout underway, so let's throw it to our ring announcer, Mr. Throwdown, Pete Trevino. Fight fans, the following contest is scheduled for three rounds in the featherweight division, being brought to you by Ferrera Signature Line, whose premium products help men unlock unique and powerful hairstyles. Ferrera Signature Line. Introducing your fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks trimmed in white. Standing five feet nine inches tall, he weighed in at 145 pounds. He's a freestyle mixed martial artist representing Dragon's Den and Ponglaban. He comes to the BTC cage undefeated with a record of two wins and no losses, with one win coming by way of submission and one big win coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of and representing Winnipeg, Manitoba, ladies and gentlemen, here is Christian! Bouchard! His opponent across the cage fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks trimmed in white. Standing five feet six inches tall, he weighed in at 143.4 pounds. He's a super bad fighter representing Niagara Top Team. He comes to the cage with a record of three wins and only one loss. Fighting out of and representing St. Catharines, Ontario. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Tiche, my house, Guthrow. Referee Matt Rocca with final fight instruction. All right, we went over the rules in the back. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do so now. Make your way back to your corners. Ladies and gentlemen, this BTC featherweight contest will be decided in three rounds or less. Matthew Rocca, the official for this one, our third man in the cage. And we're underway here in this featherweight bout. Christian Bouchard and Tiche Guthrow. Christian gets the center of the octagon right away. Yeah, that's what Christian wanted. He wanted to be fast and just assert himself early. And so far, so good, but only 15 seconds into the yeah. fight. <laughs> Tiche being patient. Gonna try to time that overhand. Good kicks, good leg kicks, and then there's a good nice high win. knee from Guthrow. Oh, nice little kind of question mark kick yeah. there from Bouchard. Nice tight guard by Tiche. It's kind of funny as well as Guthrow took that LFA opportunity on last minute. He's accepting a fight here with someone on last minute. It's just funny how the world of MMA goes. But there's that Niagara top team level wrestling as Chris Prick and his crew member here in Guthrow get the fight to the ground. Yeah, for sure. Beautiful uh, level change there by uh, Tiche. Tried to stack up Bouchard, but nice, nice job to switch and take the back by Guthrow. Yeah, 
Very nice. Oh, nice ankle pick by Tishi to bring him right down to the ground. Oh, that was that was beautiful. Saw that that was available, and I wanted the fight to the ground. I'm just going to sweep your leg out yeah. right when you're least expecting it. Nice posture by Tishi. Good staple on that leg there. Just trying to make sure that uh, Christian doesn't regard, but Christian did regard. Nice regard by Christian. Yeah, I think Tiche, he definitely wants to smother Bouchard and really give him no room to breathe and, and just put the pressure on. That's what Tiche can really do. He swarms you, whether it's on the ground or on the feet. If you look at his fights here in BTC, he had an unbelievable fight at BTC 6, his pro debut against Paul Fisher. He's had, you know, a fight with Ariel Zuniga that scrap, went the distance. Yeah. yeah, it was a scrap, and now he returns here to the BTC cage for the first time in over two years. And you, but you see, too, um, even the approach of uh, Tisha, it's very calm, you know, it's very collective, even uh, even on the ground, on the feet, you know, when he wants to take the fight down, he'll take the fight down. You know, he's not, he's not just trying to throw bombs the whole time now. No, and, and that's, I think, the thing of maturity and realizing, you know, how important the mental game is as well, because... I think the old Tiche would have tried to, you know, make it a scrap, make it a you know, very exciting fight people go home with. But Tiche, this is what he wants to put his life and energy into, and it's going to take his time. He's he's cool, calm, and collect. Like, we saw in his walkout, he came out like he was about to, you know, buy some groceries, let alone have a uh, mixed martial arts fight. Well, you you know what it is when you realize as a fighter that you're close yep. to, to that next level? You want to do whatever you can to make sure that you get there, you know? And uh, Tishi wants to get the win. He doesn't care about uh, just making fun scraps anymore. He knows he's at that level, you know. Yeah, he's definitely, you know, on the cusp and one of the budding guys of this Niagara top team, Jim, that we've talked about. You know, in our, inter in our first intermission, we spoke with Jasmine. I spoke with Jasmine Jazdavicius, Aaron Jeffries from that gym and had many, you know, a CFFC champion, you know, another shot at the Contender Series. And Tiche is, you know, probably the, one of the next guys. I mean, Anthony and Romero's got a fight, you know, tomorrow in, in Houston. And as Tiche looks to just put more punishment on, good up kicks from Bouchard. Nice pass by Tiche. Yeah, it was good up kicks by Bouchard. He's got a pretty good guard, but he needs to do something when he uh, when he has him in guard. Right now, Tiche passed beautifully. Great underhook escape attempt by Bouchard, but Tiche stuffed that immediately and is now right back on the back. Oh, Tiche trying to go with those Jose Aldo shots under the armpit. Nice ride control by Tiche. Notice how he ride controlled him down. As soon as... Uh, uh, Christian tried to come up. He immediately thigh pried him and stuffed him right back down to the ground. And now he's just controlling his hips. He's busted up. Bouchard has Guthro with his nice shots under the elbow. And there's Bouchard trying some back elbows, but just so much power. He's got to get out Guthrow. of the, yeah. He's got to get out of this position. But Guthrow's just got such a he's got that waist lock there, and it's and it's oh. and it's super hard. Oh, these shots are hurting him. Yeah, these are really painful shots. The nose has been busted open, and I think Tiche smells the blood and is looking for a finish. Such a different approach by Tiche, but such a technical approach. Oh, well, that was a good shot. That really, oh, you know, rocked like, the jaw like of Bouchard. Will Bouchard make ten it? There's a 10-second clapper. Will Bouchard see a second round as he throws a nice up kick? Nice up kick. Tiche separates. He wants to finish on the feet. And a Superman punch as the horn goes to end the first round. And Bouchard didn't really know which way no. his corner was. No. And and do you notice how Tiche didn't immediately go? He took his time. He's like, oh, you know what I got? I got five seconds. I'm not going to. I'm just going to wait. You know what? I'm going to wait till the next round. You got to stuff those takedowns. And if you're on the ground, you got to immediately try to get back up, you, you know, because he's staying in the ground too much, and that's what the problem is. Tishi's being able to control him down there. Tap of gloves, and we're underway here with the second round as yeah. jumping that's good. karate kick from Bouchard. But, oh, but oh, Tishé immediately. Tishé with some big punches and then just goes right to the takedown and pinning Bouchard up against the fence. Nice knee tap by uh, Tishé there. Right on top of that BTC 14 Clash logo, which... Once again, it'll be February. It'll be March fifth in London, Ontario. And Bouchard just going to pull Guthrow in. Right here, this is a position where uh, where Bouchard needs to work from here. He needs to, right? He's taking too much damage. He's letting he's letting Tiche work. He's letting Tiche settle. He's letting Tiche uh, get his dominant position, right? 
Yeah, you can never settle. You got to always find a way to scramble, move, look for something. Yeah, even if it's a wall walk or if it's because right now we're in a very right now we're in a very uncomfortable position if we're uh, Christian Bouchard. Yeah, he's pinned him up against the fence and at an awkward angle, kind of working almost half guard, but now posturing up, delivering good elbows from Guthrow. Elbows have been, elbows and leg kicks have been the theme of the night. Yeah, they really have been. It's just a vital tool mm -hmm. uh, in mixed martial arts now, especially those elbows with ground and pound. Good head control by TG. He's going to try to look to pass, but even it looks like it, but sometimes he's just composed to staying there, ground and pounding there. You know, a lot of people, uh, Randy Couture's favorite position, half guard, stapling the leg down and ground and pounding from half, half guard. Another thing Tiche told us is he's kind of content with, you know, taking as much cage time and gaining more experience. It's not about the fancy quick in and out. He wants to gain as much experience as possible each outing. Oh, and it shows too. Every every fight, he looks more and more matured. Yeah, he's definitely a composed, mature young man who is trying to take his crew to the next step and once again, you know, in in that mount position. Uh, Bouchard needs to try to uh, shrimp out, escape from here. He's he's attempting, but he's doing like a one and done, and then and then he's 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 trying, but then he just after the first attempt he stops. He's got to go for more, right? But it's it's easier said than done when you got T Shay on you, just ground and pounding you away, you know. So it's one of those things too where it, it may be a different strategy or maybe better effort if he had a full fight camp to work on. Obviously, taking this fight on a week's notice, that's tough, especially with someone of the high le skill level that uh, Tisha Guthrow has. And as well, Bouchard is one of like many of the guys on this card. Hasn't fought in almost two years. Absolutely, and that could also be a thing too, right? Tisha fought in 2020. You know, he was more active. And, and again, and, and we were talking about it, it's, it's Tisha's in a camp with, with a lot of like high-level pro athletes that are at the big show or they're almost there. You know, and, 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 and it shows, right? And and Bouchard is trying. He's trying with the up kicks. He's trying to escape, but he just he doesn't have enough right now. No, he really doesn't. He's throwing those last-dish efforts of those up kicks, but Tisha can kind of see them com being coming before they're thrown, and Tisha's just going to take his time now, get back, work in half guard, land as much ground and pound. He's now busted open uh, Bouchard around the, the one of his eyes right there. It looks like his left eye. And what I what I what I what I like is every time Bouchard tries to turn seat, pins it down and then staples right away and then goes into half guard. Every time Bouchard tries to shrimp it from guard, he immediately counters it and he goes into half guard and he starts working. And he's being active in there. And that and that's what's important. He's not just staying, he's being active. He's trying to pass. He's ground and pounding. Uh, and, and Bouchard just does not have an answer for that. No, Bouchard, he's also got to put the carry the extra weight here of T and just it's a just Tisha Tisha is just so active too, where there's really no chance for you to try to find that opening to posture up and get up. It's just Tisha smothering you, his, and he's either throwing ground and pound or elbows. Good pass there by Tisha. Good uh, good pass attempt. But that's exactly what he's doing. Every time uh, Bouchard tries to do something, Tisha has a counter just like that. Yeah, right. Tisha's wrestling game has really <laughs> grown since that fight back in 2020 in the LFA. Great. Yeah, this yeah, is a sure. very high level. Complete mixed martial artist. Nice oh, full mount, mount now. Uh, yeah, he he timed that perfectly. He hit control. Yeah, Bouchard's got to try to go for broke. Yeah, he's got to go from here. Well, he tried to push off the fence, and now Tiche's taking the back, flattening out Bouchard. Trying to land some good ground and pound, but there's the clapper. Ten seconds, Ten seconds left. Again, will Bouchard be able to survive it? And there's the horn. So Christian Bouchard will see a third round, but Bouchard is that enough for a 10-8? I would, th I would think so. It's on damage control. Yeah, you I know. think the three Ds that were all filled right. out there by Tisha Guthrow took mount, took back, flanned him out. You know, and for duration too. It was yeah. pretty much the whole yeah. five minutes. You still got one more round, Jason. You know, you still got yep. one more to go. So mixed martial arts, anything can happen. And here we go, third and final round underway. Christian Bouchard and Tiche Guthrow. That's a good cut over the left eye of Christian Bouchard. The cut man's are working today.
Oh, good oh, Superman, Superman punch that got from him. Guthrow, and that really hurt in a knee. Followed up, Bouchard is in trouble. Good head kick from oh. Guthrow. He's smelling blood. Yeah, Guthrow, uh, Bouchard, I should say, a limp, and Guthrow looking for the finish now. Oh, good combination, drops, Sorry. and just trying to walk away. Sorry. Christian Bouchard tried to survive, but too much onslaught. Too much. Wow. The rent was due. My wow. house, Tisha Guthrow, moves to 3-0 and inside the BTC cage. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Look calm. Look composed. Just look like a guy that's ready. Ready for the next step. And, that, and that's what it is. And that's what he's been telling us. Like, I'm, I'm, this, is, this is a new me. Yeah, a lot of eyes need to be on Tisha Guthrow right now because... As you said, Ergus, this is a guy that's ready for the next level. Took his time, landed damage in the first and second round. When it was time to end the fight, he ended the fight. Absolutely, and that's and that's what it was. He 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 wasn't rushing anything before. He'd rush and he just start he started sc uh, scrap with people. But this time he he took his time. He ground and pounded Bouchard, and then when the time was right, bam! Superman punch. I'm gonna go for the finish now. Yeah, he had he had uh, Bouchard definitely with the health level. At, at the ultimate low of red, and then it was Tisha Guthrow putting it away for his most complete performance inside the BTC cage. All right, BTC fight fans, let's get a round of applause together for both of the fighters in this cage. <laughs> Referee Matt Rocca stepped in to stop this contest at 36 seconds of the third round for your winner by TKO. Tiche, my house, Gothro! I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me. Never need no push, I do it all for me. Look, I'm really reppin' and I'm flexed up, and I ain't gotta tell him I'm next up. Sleep on the they rest up, but I'm up and I'm getting my checks up Me and the fellas be high as propellers like sh could tell us we great Looking at sh like how do you figure unless you could talk about a fix I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me Never need no push, I do it all for me